we're to part five of our lesson three, and that's saving your design. We've already saved a design before, but this time we're going to do something special and we're going to export as a quilt format. So let's get ready and finish up our outline teddy bear. So once you're happy with your teddy bear as an outline, we can go ahead and save this. Go up to the Word file and go to Save As. Remember, we've saved our teddy bear several different times as the draw file format. Really good habit to get into? Let's do it again here. So we're going to do My Teddy Bear Outline as the file name. The Save As type is the draw file format. So that way, if you come back and you want to change machine manufacturers or change your export to a quilting machine, it's okay because you can always open this back up and resave to the format that you need. So please go ahead, My Teddy Bear Outline, save as that draw file format. And you know that you've saved as draw because the My Teddy Bear outline comes up on the tab up here. So that's a really good thing to see. Now let's go back to the word file. Go to Save As. And this time you choose, again, choose as your sewing machine manufacturer. So whether you have a Janome, whether you have a Brother, a Baby Lock, or a Bernina, a Husqvarna Viking, a Faf, a Singer, Tajima, whatever it is, go ahead and you choose and save that format. Again, save it as My Teddy Bear Outline in your machine format. Now once you've done that, I want to show you one more thing for saving. Let's go back up to the Word file, and this time you're going to have the option of an export. There are different places you can export. One is to the editor that is called Modular. That's a way you can do other things with your designs, and we'll go into that as we get into next step lessons. You can save this as an image. Let's say you want to print this out on printable fabric or use it possibly as a template for hand embroidery. You can do that by saving this as an image. An SVG is a special type of format that we'll talk about later, but today what I want to show you is the save or export to quilt. Please click on export to quilt. For anyone who has a um, automated quilter or a long arm machine, here are several different file formats that are available for you. So you can actually take this to your quilting machine and do this particular design on your quilt. Creative Drawings has a great way to do that in that you can just, again, just simply save here. But just think about all the options you have with designs, with outlines, with different things that you can make as you are creating things for your quilting machine. So please go ahead, take a moment, see the different formats that are available, and then go ahead and save this as my teddy bear outline and then save as the file format that's right for your quilting machine. So again you can use your creative drawings not only as your embroidery for your embroidery machine but also for your quilting machine. Well, that was it. We've done all the getting started lessons for your creative drawings. There's lots of good information about how to start with your embroidery, to change patterns, to change to an outline, to add lettering, to change colors. This is a great way to get started. Try some different designs and play around with that. Stay tuned to www.creative-drawings.com for more exercises that will take you a little bit further, the next step into your creative drawing software. And also keep an eye out on YouTube and Facebook for more information. Have fun with your creative drawings.